Howard, I don't approve of you dating patients you meet here. Well, we don't seem to be getting enough lab tests on your patients. Or x-rays on sprains, for that matter. Now, these are the things that produce revenues. If they're needed, I see no reason to run up a bill for these people. I don't believe it. You just took a bribe from that man. What? These drugs are worthless. I'm not the drugs, the tickets. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Everybody does that. Well, I don't. I don't want you to anymore. Eve, he gives me tickets. I take his promotional junk. He makes a living. And I toss these pills in a drawer somewhere. It's not like I really give this stuff to patients. It actually says to sleep perchance to dream. <laughs> well, I think it's unprofessional, and I want it to stop. I see you're still interviewing people, Eve. Yes. Well, you know, I'm perfectly capable of handling anything that Howard, we discussed this. Before I can hire you full-time, I am obligated to look for an ER specialist who is board-certified. That is standard operating procedure. Well, I may not be a specialist by certification, but I am one by experience. You know that. Excuse me. Pharmacy, call 706. Say, Eve, I saw you taking care of that woman's ear. Why didn't you call me? I'm an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Good Lord, Howard, I've certainly had enough experience with ears to know what to do. Yes, but you're not a specialist. Well, not by training, no. Oh, but you insist that I need training to work in ER full-time, even though I can handle 95% of the problems that come in here and handle them better than any of these children you're interviewing who probably stole your wallet. <laughs> Look, I know darn well what a good doctor you are. But procedure says very clearly that before I hire any doctor full-time, I must interview, and that is what I'm doing, and where is my stupid wallet? Joan, did you call for a float nurse? Yes, I did. I've spoken to you about this more than once, Joan. Organizing the personnel is my responsibility. I thought it would save time. That's the point. One person has to be in charge or everything turns to chaos. In the past, it's always been my job. Well, then you should be relieved to have one less thing to worry about. Well, if that's all, I have work to do. Joan, this is wrong. What? Sending a patient to x-ray without consulting Howard or me. I usually... I didn't even know that he was a patient here. Well, I think that even insignificant me is capable of making a decision like that. I've been doing it longer than you were doing papers in a classroom. It's policy, Joan. You know that. I don't understand why you continue to ignore my orders. Your orders? I'm head of this department. And I am the head nurse. And the head nurse works for the head of the department. Not anymore, she doesn't. I quit. Yeah, I remember how much money the Cubs cost me, but this is basketball, my man, and I know basketball. Will you book my bet? Great. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Howard, you know you just made an illegal call and implicated the hospital by making us an accessory. Are you going to take me to people's court? <laughs> well, then why don't you head out to your lawyer's office? I'm going to find out if your son has meningitis. No, you're not. What? Howard, you know I have a responsibility this emergency room. It's up to... Who the hell are you talking to? I'm talking to you. As head of this department, I have to protect this hospital. Look, the law says that we cannot do the tap because that in itself is not life-saving. So let's assume he has meningitis and give him antibiotics. You're very lucky, Howard. They decided not to press charges. What lucky? I was praying they wouldn't press charges. You put the hospital in terrible jeopardy. So I'm going, okay? No, Julie, it's not okay. I don't mind, Dr. Sherry. Corey, I'm sorry, Julie, but you know the rules. The ER stays at full staff 24 hours a day. Well, yeah, that may be a hospital rule, but the union rule says I work my shift and that's it. You know that if the replacement doesn't show, the person on duty remains. The hospital has rules. I am not adding to them. I am not making them worse. I am observing them. I see. Well, fine, then. We're going to dinner. No, to the commission. I'm going to charge you with sexual harassment. <laughs> I never laid a finger on you. No, but making me go to dinner with you for the sake of a patient happens to be sexual harassment. And if I'm wrong, they'll let me know what you're hearing. Even though the newspapers may agree with me. How would you know that that is against hospital rules? What rules? Having friends visit? It's gambling, Howard.